The difference of squares is a type of binomial that can always be factored. Let's look at why this is true. Here's a square that has an area of x squared. This means it has a length and width of x. If we remove a square of length y, we'll remove an area of y squared. So the red area is now x squared minus y squared. We can split this area into two rectangles, one of which has a width of y. These rectangles both have a side length of x minus y, so we can rearrange them to form a single rectangle. One side of the rectangle is y larger than x, and the other side of the rectangle is y smaller than x. So the dimensions of our rectangle are x plus y and x minus y. From this we can conclude that x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y. Let's look at a numerical example. Factor 36d squared minus 100e squared. It's possible to introduce a 0de term and factor using decomposition, but this polynomial follows a pattern, so there's a shorter method. The square root of 36 is 6, so 36d squared can be written as 6d all squared. Similarly, the square root of 100 is 10, so 100e squared can be written as 10e all squared. 6d all squared minus 10e all squared is a difference of squares, so we can use the difference of squares relationship. x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So the factors are 6d plus 10e and 6d minus 10e. As with other factoring methods, the result can be verified using multiplication. Multiply each term in the first binomial by each term in the second binomial. 6d plus 10e times 6d minus 10e is equal to 6d times 6d plus 6d times negative 10e plus 10e times 6d plus 10e times negative 10e. This equals 36d squared minus 60de plus 60de minus 100e squared. The negative 60de and the positive 60de reduce, and we're left with 36d squared minus 100e squared, our original expression.